a great deal of adrenaline. Uh, well, uh, the the blood uh, in the autopsy report, there's very little mention about the blood because I guess there was so very little there. And I guess what was there, according to the uh, to the autopsy, um, and we had a little trouble with the wording, it looked like the guy was trying to say that it had been contaminated. Now, I don't know what he means by contaminated. Uh, was he cleaning, or was somebody clean, or just cleaned an instrument, or was cleaning an instrument, say with alcohol or or, or betadine or something like that, and and got to that blood, or or was there just not enough to test? But I would find that hard to believe because you can test very, you can test a drop of blood. Um, but there's no mention of that in the, in the autopsy report at all. But she is right. There would be it would be loaded with adrenaline, and and there's there's nothing. Um, are sightings? You, you keep track of sightings as well. Sure. You're a good yeah. a good friend of Peter Davenport. What, what's going on with sightings? Are sightings on the increase or decline? Uh, sightings seem to be on the decline, but that's probably normal. It just seems like when the weather's hot uh, and we have a lot of storms in areas, it just seems like uh, when I look at records from last year as to this year at the time. Uh, there were uh, again the reports started to slow down and then they'll start picking up again uh, in uh, around October and more sightings of course because of clearer skies you won't have all the haze from heat so there are clearer skies and colder and you know that's the best time to see these things when it's clear and cold mm -hmm. and um, uh, I would say they're probably about the same I don't I don't see a whole lot of difference across the country uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, is probably right where they were uh, last year, uh, according to what I've been looking at. Um, and, and, and the Pennsylvania group is, you know, they do a good job of, uh, MUFON group does a good job of keeping track of their stuff. So, you know, when I look at it, it, you know, it tells me that, you know, I can go back to last year and it measures up much the same. But it seems like a, a lot of the up. Uh, swing on sightings has been in the uh, again in the Texas area uh, um, and now in um, we get a couple reports out of Arizona which <laughs> you know is if we got two or three of those uh, a month out of Arizona that was strange uh, but I've gotten two tonight so uh, Fletch in, uh, in Los Angeles says think cold and think remote like an alien think of how we dissect frogs. We don't do one. We do uh, many each year for students and study them. And he's right. We do. And that's another good point, just like the guy from Africa. Yeah, we know what's in a frog, uh, but for our students, we do it again and again and again and again. So who's to know about their motivation? Right. And, and the th one of the things that was strange, though, about the case in Brazil, which everybody that looked at the reports found the same thing, where the guy was found, of course, all the, the sexual organs and the, and the anus had been cored out and removed and all that. Now, they had to take his pants off to do that, right? Mm -hmm. They couldn't do it through his underwear. But right. when they find the body, the underwear is intact. It is pulled back up. Now... In the case of a serial killer, that usually indicates some sort of remorse or something. Right. Uh, so but it, in, it, in it, this it, case... Yeah, what do you call it in this case? Is it remorse? Is, uh, and, and why would the body be just dumped out in the open like that? I mean, do they have that much disregard for us? Or, you know, are we like, you know, like so many gnats that they can just swat and get rid of? Or, or I, I don't know. Yeah. All right, hold it right there, uh, Butch. We're coming up on a break, and what I want to do is I want to go to the phones here okay. shortly, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get the numbers up for you as we come back from break. But if you have a question about uh, abduction, about mutilation, or uh, even better, if you have some sort of personal experience, we would particularly like to hear from you. Um, I know this audience is centered on topics of this sort. Many of you have knowledge of things that have occurred like this. So, if you're one of those, we'd particularly appreciate a phone call. As I mentioned, as we come back, we'll lay the numbers out for you. From Manila, Philippines, I'm Art Bell. Find out more about tonight's guest. Log on to coasttocoastam.com. <laughs> 